Hello, welcome to our devotional time here at Temple Baptist Church. Certainly glad that you have taken some time out of your day to sit down with us and look at God's Word just a little bit. We're going to be in Matthew chapter 7, uh, verses 24 through 29 is the passage that we're looking at. But of course, you know me, I don't read all of it. I just read you part of it and let you uh, take the time to uh, read the rest of it. But in verse uh, 24, Therefore, whosoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him as a wise man who builds his house on the rock. Okay, Matthew chapter 7 and verses 24 through 29 are the closing words of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. And the, you know, the first five major uh, uh, public addresses recorded in Matthew's Gospel is one of the first. And, uh, you know, the sermon launches Christ's public ministry, doesn't it? It starts His ministry and uh, from the very beginning. And, you know, the, the sermon opens with a series of Beatitudes, the Sermon on the Mount, uh, the Beatitudes and things of that, and uh, uh, begins with the phrase, Blessed are... And I think his Jewish listeners at that time would be very familiar with that phrase because Psalms chapter 1 begins with those words, Blessed is the one. Blessed is the one. So what does it mean to be blessed? What does it mean to be blessed? And look, I find that uh, some of them say that uh, the Greek word and the Hebrew word doesn't mean to be a part of a whoosh or to invoke a blessing. Rather, these words recognize an existing state of happiness and good fortune. So, you know, to be blessed. And I found this very interesting that somewhere in the United States, and I don't know where this is at, there's some 34,000 homes that are at risk of collapsing due to the failure of the foundation. What happened was a, a concrete company pulled some stone from a quarry that had minerals in it that led to the uh, causing concrete to crack and disintegrate. And so they're saying over time, there could be a number of homes that are going to crash or fall because they're not built on a solid foundation. That's what Jesus is, is talking about here. Uh, image of building a a home will top a faulty foundation. You go build a home, the first thing you want is a good, solid foundation. You want it through that. And, you know, risk danger of building our lives on unsteady ground. And, you know, some of us, he, he goes on to say in the text there today that uh, some construct a, a life on a sturdy rock, on a solid foundation. And however, some uh, uh, wrecked uh, lives on sand. And when the, you go on and read down in there uh, about the tempest raging and all that, but, uh, you know, the rains descended, verse 27, and the rain descended and the flood came and the winds blew and beat on the house and it fell and great was its fall. So it was, you know, a great fall. And so, uh, you know, Christ, uh, you know, uh, whether or not we put Christ into uh, words or whether we practice, you know, we may hear his words, but we practice what he's saying. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and doeth them. You know, hearing is one thing, doing is another, isn't it? So we hear and we do. You know, I think the world, uh, there's much wisdom to be offered by the world today. There's a, a lot of advice, a lot of help. And a lot of it is good and beneficial. It is beneficial to us. And But if we base our life on the foundation other than humble obedience to what God says, then we're building on uh, shaky ground. Uh, you know, want a life built on a rock, build on the Lord Jesus Christ. And my prayer is that you're building your life on the Lord Jesus Christ, that you're on solid ground, on Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. God bless you is our prayer. We invite you to our services here at Temple. We have an 8 o'clock service and 9 o'clock Sunday school classes, 10 o'clock on Sunday morning, and then again 6 o'clock on Sunday night and 7 o'clock on Wednesday. May God bless you is our prayer.